my name is Sarah, and today my partner Blake and I will be disputing Angie and Quentin's ad, um, advocation for the legislative, the legislation of medical cannabis by the U.S. federal government. We firmly believe that it is labeling as a Schedule One controlled sub substance is correct and should remain unaltered. Marijuana, as it is more commonly known, is a dangerous and habit-forming. So, marijuana for the terminally ill, doctors should prescribe anemetic and analogistic therapies for proven efficiency rather than marijuana smoking. This therapeutic course is based on scientific knowledge and the human practice of medicine, stated by Gabriel Noss. Um, it is shown um, in a recent story in the press, um, Democrat in Santa Rosa, California, said that state's marijuana growing market was estimated at a $14 billion in 2010, and that homicides, homicides connected to that industry are common. So marijuana use is being shown to connect to homicides. Um, marijuana is harmful. Um, it's a harmful drug. It is particularly harmful to youth, people who begin smoking regularly, but it's also harmful to adults because it's so addictive. Um, it's an addictive drug and it increases heart attack risk, affects judgment and motor ability, and is particularly <coughs> brutal on cognitive abilities such as memory and learning when used over a long period of time. Um, this study by Alan J. Budry um, validated several specific effects of marijuana abstinence in marijuana users and showed they are reliable and clinically significant. Um, craving for marijuana decreases appetite, sleep deficiency, and weight loss reliably changed across the smoking and abstinence phases. Aggression, anger, irritability, restlessness and strange dreams increase significantly during abstinence phases. Um, there are many like effects for people with Alzheimer's, headaches, asthma, glycoma, hepatitis when using weed or medical marijuana. So it's stated by Helen Phillips, some compounds in cannabis including THC and cannab cannabidiol interfere with a natural signaling system throughout our brains, nerves, and immune system. Even with purified cannabis extracts, changing the amount, time, or place of a dose could produce completely opposite effects on the body. One study boosts levels of an endocrine called endendemide in rats engineered and developed an Alzheimer's-like disease this appeared to protect the rats from memory loss and nerve degeneration, but if the rise was prolonged, cannabinoids become ineffective or even damaging. When it comes to headaches, it is stated by William Young, director of the inpatient program. As a physician, physician treating headache patients for a number of years, I have seen no one who has reported a sustained headache benefit from using marijuana. There have only been reports of marijuana being associated with increased headache. One study suggests that migraine sufferers usually develop tension type headache after chronic use. The potential intoxicating effect, possible long term harm with frequent use, and the social stigma associated with this herb are likely to restrict the medical use for headache conditions. Um, with asthma, Donald P. Tashkin states, the smoke of marijuana, like that of tobacco, consists of a toxic mixture of gases and particles, many of which are known to be harmful to the lungs, whereas THC, primarily active ingredient in marijuana, causes modest short-term um, expansion of the air passages Regular marijuana smoking produces a number of long-term consequences, including chronic cough, 
and it also shows evidence of widespread airway inflammation. Marijuana, when it comes to glycoma, it states by the American Academy of AAO Committee on Drugs, there is no scientifically variable evidence that the use of marijuana is safe and effective in the treatment of glycoma. The Academy could not support proposed legislation to transfer marijuana from Schedule 1 to Schedule 2 of the Controlled Substance Act in order to permit its use in treating glycoma. With Hepatitis C, it's Stated, daily cannabis consumption should be avoided in patients with chronic hepatitis C, patients with HCV infection who smoke cannabis to help with fatigue or appetite should really be aware of daily consumption, um, could prolong their disease and make it worse. And then with possession of marijuana, Porterville City Councilman Greg Sheldon says, My concern is I don't want some 17-year-old kid to get shot for jumping a fence and stealing some weed. According to the federal law, the use, possession, transportation, and distribution of marijuana is illegal. However, because of the Compassionate Use Act of 1996, which enables people in need of marijuana for medical purposes to obtain and use it without fear of criminal prosecution under limited circumstances, cities have to allow for private cultivation. Um, the government reports there still have not been enough clinical trials to demonstrate that its benefit outweighs the risk, nor is a medicine in the scene sense that it can be measured and consequent or consistently ingested in a dosage that could be prescribed. On September 14th, a 17-year-old, Lindsay Boy, was shot by a neighbor who was trying to protect the growers of the legal marijuana patch. Um, just because something is prescribed to a patient does not mean that it is not highly addictive or ultimately damaging to a person. And that is stated by Sutra Redhardi. Okay, I'm going to cut you off here. You're over seven minutes. <laughs>